Natalia Grace's formerly adoptive mother has broken her silence. Christine Barnett spoke out in her first public statement since Investigation Discovery's latest docuseries, The Curious Case of Natalia Grace, Natalia Speaks, in which the Ukrainian orphan issued disturbing abuse allegations against Christine. In a lengthy Facebook post on January 4th, Christine denied Natalia's claims and alleged that she was, quote, a very much loved and cared for member of her family who was not abused by anyone in the household. Any discipline of Natalia was very minimal and was not out of the bounds of normal parenting. If anything, it was overly permissive as we all felt a tremendous amount of sympathy for Natalia and loved her while she lived with us, Christine wrote in part, adding, I am sure there were plenty of fails and some successes I had as a parent and mom, but I was not abusive to my children. Christine and her now ex-husband Michael Barnett adopted Natalia in 2010 when she was believed to be a young child, and true crime fans were riveted over the former couple's previous claims that she was secretly an adult with dangerous tendencies. The Barnetts accused Natalia, who has a rare genetic disorder, of attempting to harm them and their children multiple times. After suspecting that Natalia had been lying about her age, they successfully petitioned a court to legally change her birth year from 2003 to 1989, which would indicate that she was almost 20 at the time she joined their family. The now former couple faced charges of dependent neglect after Natalia was left to live in an Indiana apartment by herself after they moved to Canada with their three sons in 2013. Michael was found not guilty in 2022 and charges against Christine were dropped the following March. The Barnetts divorced in 2018 and in Natalia Speaks, Natalia confronted Michael not once but twice and he claimed that they were both victims. I had the same monster you did. I was exceptionally controlled and put down and threatened, was minimalized. Any Anything that was who I was was ripped from me and I was guided and instructed to be exactly what she wanted me to be. In her post, Christine responded to Michael's explosive allegation and insisted that she is not to blame for his and Natalia's troubles, claiming in part, Michael Barnett and Natalia Barnett may have the same monster, but that monster is not me. That monster, whether it's mental illness, sociopathy, or whatever it actually is, may be different for each of them, but it's within their own psyche. Natalia appeared to be vindicated in ID's follow-up series, getting emotional over a medical lab's DNA test that seemingly confirmed her real age. This one little piece of paper throws every single lie that the Barnetts has said right into the trash with a match. This is so big because literally this has been 13 years. 13 years of just two people lying their butts off. But despite what looked like a happy ending on the horizon for Natalia, viewers were left reeling after the final episode's closing scene in which her guardian Antoine and his wife Cynthia were heard on a phone call to producers saying that they'd reached a breaking point themselves. I'm made right with Natalia. This girl is tweaking. I feel like she's an enemy in the house. If she would answer us, we have hailed her hostage. Made us look like we're the enemy. Natalia stabbing her family in the back. Over a complete lie. She's done other things too, but this was a new low. Natalia does not have emotions for nothing but herself. We're done. We're done with her.